-huh. We stopped to take a picture of the beer that we had purchased in the back. So we took a picture, oh shut the trunk, got in the front seat, <laughs> keys are gone. So we tore out the back seat of Dad's car uh -huh. to open the trunk and open the trunk, but well, we couldn't get it because we couldn't get, we didn't have anything to tear the back seat out with good enough, but we went ahead and broke it first. Sure. So I go back and I sit in the front seat and I kind of flop down and I go, hear something go, ching, 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 ching. This for the last. And I reach over and there sits the damn keys. I put them in the front seat of the car. Started the car and took off. Nice. But we'd already tore the back seat out of the car. So how'd you fix that? Uh, I didn't. Um, <laughs> when I got home, Dad found out about it, and, and I got tired of listening to his mouth. I told him I'd pay for it. And a week later, I was in San Antonio, Texas, in the Air Force. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> that's how I got to be in the Air Force. Yeah, there you go. Is that how you're paying for it? <laughs> hey, I didn't know. No, he wanted to be a dick about it, you know, so... I don't even know what he was stirred up about, really. Yeah, it was just you brought, did you share beer with him? No. No, not so much? No, he just, uh, I don't know, fairly new car, you know, maybe six months old or something. I was going to take the old convertible, but he wouldn't, he would, no, you take this new car. Well, it's your fault, you let me take the new car, you should have known I was going to tear something up. Yeah. You know. Good too.